Helmut on the PlayStation 4. This is a research stream of a game that I played about uh, for about an hour before, without commentary. This is a, a top-down twin-stick shooter. And we'll go into more detail about that. Audio settings for the music. Do we want old school? Modern crap. <laughs> or do we want to mix it? I still think that's kind of hilarious. They, they're, they're straight up with it. Uh, we're not going to do the modern crap for this time, but we might give it a sample later. Uh, this is another uh, discount game. I think I got this one for less than five dollars. Uh, like, when did this come out? 2019? Huh. So this might have come out last Halloween. Okay, so where's the? Here we go. Turn off those stupid stream screen shakes. So we're going with this tutorial. Set it up. Apparently it's a dual, I guess it's like an end of the dungeon in a way too. It's a top down dual stick shooter uh, with a dungeon run structure. You know, like Hades, right? Yeah, this is basically Hades, right? <laughs> no, it's, I'll play Hades someday. In fact, I'll play Pyre probably later on this month. But uh, I gotta get around to, I gotta get around to finishing some of the other Halloween related stuff. I got a Castlevania game I mean to get to. I might do a stream of that on, a, on Halloween. Okay, shoot by pressing the R2 button. I'm not wild about that, but hey, it's still top down because you have to aim with the white, white stick. The right stick. Wibbling the right stick. Okay. I've seen this setup recently. I forgot when the other game did it, but you aim with the right stick. But you have to hold the, you have to hold the right, you have to hold R2 down. So in that sense, it is like a top down shooter. Do special shootings with the L2 button. Get bonus points to kill them all with a single shot and yeah, no bonus points. No bonus points, never mind. Oh, there we go. Release. L2. You have to aim first with the right stick and then you hold the L2 button. Aim the Rat King. <laughs> that was the Ninja Turtle thing. Hey, human thingy, you did well. Don't let it touch the furniture. Square. Uh, let's see. Hold left on the right stick to select. Okay. Square. That didn't work. Got to press R2. Okay, so I have to select. I have to press square. Choose who I want to use, and press R2. Like his gun. Go on, chew. <laughs> Fine. Uh, here. Yeah. 20 soul stones to activate this tome. Okay. They can do that, I suppose. Oh. So, yeah, just gather the soul stones. That's fine. What was the last twin stick shooter I played? I'm trying to remember. What was the last twin stick shooter I played? Well, Enter the Gungeons on PC, so I don't know if that counts. So, I have Kara. Kara. Done. Ooh, transform a stitch monster. Okay, so square. There we go. I have to remember that seems kind of complicated. Hammer time. Yes. I'm not really wild about this character when I played him earlier, but let's see how we do. Yeah, yes, yeah, should be fine. These weapons are okay, I guess. <laughs> so I guess they're going for like a Binding of Isaac thing, which would be a Halloween game, but I already rented that game. I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, but I tried playing Binding of Isaac for like an hour. I'm like, Ugh. The, gun, the, ba the default weapon you get is really lame, so it takes a long time to get a weapon that's actually worth using. So that's unfortunate. Okay, so... I have to start a new game. We don't need a turn to make it out of here with that. I'm playing offline anyway. No, I survived. I did a, I did reasonably well early on in this game. What mutation do I want? I think I want the Rat King, honestly. X. 
But I don't have enough, uh, yeah, I don't have enough energy, do I? I'm not gonna accept it anyway. Coach Ratchet Rubber, load him in a gun, this is what you get, okay. Ratchet jam packed with explosives and hungry. The John Ratzenberger. Vending right. machine? Nah, we'll do that later. <laughs> it's like a midway arcade game. It's like it's like, it's like MK3. You have to type in codes, I guess. Don't leave her guns unattended. So I guess if you had to, just, I mean, this 4K, this 4K, this HD pix, super 8-bit pixel art style is kind of weird, I guess. I don't know how I feel about it. Of course, they have, course they have more colors and some more lighting effects in your average 8-bit game, so I guess that's amusing. Oh, these things, oh, those are, oh yeah, it's a reflective gun. It's got reflective bullets, that I was not aware of. That, that crap. So I guess the typical uh, twin-stick shooter rules apply. Uh, shoot in the opposite direction that you move, I guess. <laughs> Actually, that might not be a rule, but it's one I've tended to use. As long as I keep moving, I can just hold down right trigger, and that's usually fine. Unlimited ammo. I guess this gives you more options in a game like Smash TV, because you have the ability to uh, stop. You have the ability to release the trigger if you don't want to hold down the fire button. Because in Smash TV, you always shot in the direction where you pointed the right joystick. I guess, I think, what's weird about it is that the 3D era, not the 2D era, is what sort of forced the hand of the, you know, console developer. They said, yeah, this this dual twin-stick paradigm has to be a thing now in the 3D era, because we got to control the camera. In the 2D era, the ability to run one way and shoot the other really wasn't as much of a priority. Uh... Though even now we're seeing, you know, 2D games, you know, 2D side-scrollers with this kind of ability. Cost. Well, I don't have that many. Yeah, I don't have any points. Okay, so I can't even do that. Okay, so which, which way am I going now? I probably should have gone this way in the first place. Okay, here they come. Yeah, they come. That yeah, careful. Of course, I admit, it's kind of hard to see people shooting at you. That was one thing that... Smash TV, I think, kind of dialed down on that. They said this had, they just had everyone try to attack you with melee attacks for the most part. There were some enemies that hit you with, they tried to hit you with projectiles, but I think they were always at a distance. So I think that was the trick. It's been a while since I played it. And I got Renegade Ops right here. I got it on PC. I need to start playing that again. I still haven't played that game. In a I, I did a laptop check for it, but it, I, you know, I did a laptop test. And I played it on a dual stick, on a dual core laptop, so I should probably try that. For some reason, yeah, I don't remember, yeah, I don't think Renegade Ops runs that well on a laptop. I mean, you'll still get 30 frames a second with it. So that might be enough. Let me see if I can run away, so I can funnel these guys through a narrow passageway. If I can funnel them around a corner, it makes it easier for me to get them all in one spot, so I can shoot them like this. And the ability to bounce off walls means that getting them into a tight space works out in my favor, I think. So what was it? Was it... Did, did, wait, that's right. A Pocky and Rocky was not a twin-stick shooter. Oh, well, the Pocky and Rocky 3 is coming out, isn't it, on the Switch? Like this year, right? Let me double-check that. X. I have less health than I was expecting. I took too many hits. I don't need to transform, I don't think. Yeah, I don't need it. Well, I guess I could transform because I'm running out of health. But this seems to work okay. Hold on, if I switch weapons. Uh, let's see, square. Okay, so I don't have the better weapon. But I might need to press the uh, triangle button. Uh, square. Right stick, R2, triangle. So that gives me a bit of health. Okay, that's good. Okay, I lost my machine gun. Fine. Let's try this for a change. Crap! Ow, crap, took a hit there. So the fact that I can switch back and forth is okay. That crap, he wasn't dead. I ran right into him and he wasn't dead. Bad call. 
Guess I could go back and get those soul stones. There it is. I'm gonna have to switch it up then. There we go. Yeah, I've been putting off Castlevania for way too. Whoops! Got stuck in the corner and I couldn't I couldn't uh, move past those armored guys. They got me trapped in a corner. That hurt. Y'all know what that was. I like it, but I don't know what it was. Square button? Got plenty of soul stones, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Okay, I don't need the square button for anything special. So how do I get another uh, transforming ability? Do I have to go back to the eye? Because I have enough soul stones to go to the eye. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna leave in a second. By the way, these dungeons are randomly generated because this dungeon layout is different than the one I played last night. Okay, this gun does not move all the way across the screen. There's neither of his. Limited range, but that's okay. You get the idea. Get the shop. We're gonna need some health. It's not good. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Press L2. Sorry, I pressed L1. So I was able to use the machine gun. How do I know what my secondary weapon is? There we go, Street Burst. <laughs> it's just a straight up Uzi. What is it, a Mac 10 or an AK? Okay, now I'm empty. Okay, could have worked. Okay, I'm about to go to the shop pretty soon. I'm about to buy one of them. One of them, their healing items. Yep, I'm out of a uh, L1 special weaponry. Waiting for this dude to go down eventually. What is this, Metal Slug? Mummy doesn't go down. So I guess we're going to the shop eventually. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You don't have any special weapons here. I need DPS. This is driving me nuts. Okay, uh, shop. Uh, let's see. I have 25 coins. Resurrection Orb sounds okay. Yeah, I think I need a Resurrection Orb to use to collect the dude the most. So I need the Resurrection Orb to get to the get to the uh, Rat King, I guess. Let me show you this. It's uh, Space Invaders from Hell. <laughs> I have enough coins for this. I should be able to make more coins as I play, actually. One coin, one game. You hold down the R2. And I think the typical rules apply. Always hit the... Uh, Always hit the leader of the enemy that's moving in that direction. That seems to be the strategy, as I recall. And don't leave any holes. You want to make the you want to make the descending column as narrow as possible. I believe that's the idea. Start on the edges and work your way inside. Don't leave any holes because eventually they get faster and it gets harder to pick out the enemies on the edges. Leave one cleared. I think I can shoot the bullets too. You can also accidentally shoot coins. Yeah, I think I shot a coin there. Yeah, you can shoot those coins. I believe they blow up. So keep that in mind. I have four coins. I have four coins apparently. I think the barrels are a nice touch. <laughs> the barrels are my cover. See, Space Invaders. Space Invaders is the original cover shooter. Am I right? I lost my mic, that's okay. Sorry, I lost my headphones, that's okay. I don't need to be able to hear anything. Audio package isn't that impressive. But I do like that you can uh, shoot the bullets as they come down towards you. That's kind of interesting. Okay. That one bullet just died on me. I don't know what happened there. I'll take that. So I guess I was supposed to shoot that bullet? Okay, so if I shoot it, I collect it. So even if I shoot it, I still collect it. Uh oh, see, that's the part. I left, that, I left that hole right there. Whoops! There we go. 
Okay, now we got a problem. Now they're getting kind of fast. Yeah, I don't think you can shoot the original. I don't, I don't remember being able to shoot the bullets in the original Space Invaders. Remember, you gotta lead them a little bit. Because <laughs> they get kind of fast, and your bullets are kind of slow, so you're gonna have to lead them. I don't believe I've ever played Space Invaders on this channel until now. <laughs> Here we are. Space Invaders. If I had to play uh, an Atari, if I had to play like, a game from the early 1980s for Halloween, what would it be? Haunted House, I guess. Because I do have that on PC. I have the Atari uh, Legacy Collection, so I could play Haunted House if I really wanted to, but I can't make any sense of it. You know, that game where you're controlling the, uh, the diamond? <laughs> you're controlling the pixelated diamond as he was moving through a house? Is the alien spaceship sound effect still going off? You have to, you have to clear out that row. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because they get so fast, it becomes a liability. Yeah, why are my bullets disappearing? That's so weird. Ah, crap. Like I said, you gotta lead them. Like a quarterback throwing to a receiver on a slant. I mean, I might get the, uh... I might get the hovering Kutululu eye on the top of the screen. <laughs> you know, like this, it's the uh, saucer in the original Space Invader, if you remember that. And don't holler at me. I haven't played Space Invaders in like two decades. Maybe three. Y'all think I've played Space Invaders in two decades? Yeah, the original top down shooter, huh? What happened? What is Taito doing now, anyway? Now that I think about it. Got him. So that's the thing. Always go, uh, always take out the dudes in the far left and the far right. That's the, that's the strategy. Yeah, now things get really fast. So I might, I might kill myself pretty soon. Because <laughs> I can only play so much Space Invaders. And let's, let's be honest here. It's no Galaxian. But yeah, Galaxian ate this. Yeah, it was a Galaga ate this game's launch, let's be honest. Namco forever, huh? In fact, I have that Taito Legends game on a PS2, but I don't have any Space Invaders games on it. I don't think so. I've never, if they do, I've never played them. I was too busy playing the other arcade games in that Taito Legends collection. I'm spending more time playing Space Invaders than playing, this, than playing the base game. Burn it. Got him, okay. Okay, it's getting pretty nasty. Crap. Yes, yeah, it's getting pretty bad. Got him. Okay, now I'm able to say it, salvage myself a little bit. <laughs> Have any high-level strats for uh, Space Invaders? Not really. I don't play Space Invaders like that. I mean, I, you saw my high-level, you saw my pro-level strats. People always used to say, man, video games, video games are too long, right? <laughs> no, they're not. They're just better able to hold our attention for long periods of time. I mean, okay, here, here, okay, here's, here's your uh, April Fool's, uh, here's your April Fool's challenge. Write a 1,000 word review of this game without doing any research. Just analyze the game, analyze the gameplay, analyze the mechanics. Well, here are your mechanics. If you're willing to do a deep dive into Space Invaders, go ahead. I'm not. I'm not that guy. This is not the kind of channel we deep dive into Space Invaders. Maybe a river raid, but not Space Invaders. I mean, there are no weapon upgrades in this game, at least in this game. That was one thing Galaga really gave you, is that it gave you those freaking... It gave you those uh, upgrades. In fact, that's supposed to be a game design exercise. Make Space Invaders more dynamic. I'm gonna get a, do I'm gonna get a dozen waves, you kidding me? Aren't the enemies supposed to be getting faster? They seem to be going at the same speed now. They're just changing the... Okay, not anymore, because I'm not shooting the sides properly. Yeah, get you have to get really accurate with those. Because of how fast they move. Yeah, Madden could make a game like this, right? <laughs> I mean, just call audibles. That is the thing, the ability to, uh... Lead your... The ability to lead with your shots. You can get people... You can make the enemies run into your bullets. That's really the trick. How did I miss? Yeah, how do I completely miss on those? 
Yeah, whiffing, yeah, whiffing by having your bullets uh, stream in between two enemies. Those, that's the worst. Especially enemies that are moving that. See, like that. <laughs> that's the worst. But there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a nice touch. You shoot the bullets or you shoot the coins, and they wind up exploding, taking out multiple enemies. That's cool. I was expecting to play Space Invaders, but here we are. At least my barrel shields came back. So, I mean, how do you make a game like this? Well, you can you can make, you can add different weapons. You can add a charged weapon, I guess. You can hit multiple enemies in one shot. That might be interesting. Remember, there was a sequel to this on the uh, PSP, right? Was it Space Invaders? Remix or Space Invaders 2000, something like that, which I heard was actually a pretty good game, but I think it might be like one of those download-only games. I should probably, I could, pro I could program, I could program this game. I'm pretty sure I could program this in C. I mean, most people could. <laughs> but, I, but I need to make it more interesting. Like, if you want it, like, if you ask me, like, I probably could make Joust. Like, if, I, if I could get a nice Flappy Bird engine going, <laughs> I could probably make Joust. <laughs> Get the collision detection going. We need to make this more interesting. Like, can't you add like you know roving, uh, like moving barrel, something like that? Okay, I can't keep playing this. I'm gonna kill myself here. I have too many coins. We're fine. So we get the idea. I've played Space Invaders for 10 minutes. I probably never played Space Invaders for more than 20 minutes. Yay, I'm number zero on the leaderboard. I got all those coins. So what do I do with them? That was that was surprisingly easy. I think the enemies just stopped getting faster at some point. <laughs> uh, I'm so good at this game. Uh, big armor. It doesn't even tell me what the, what it does. Vegetarian. Boots of speed sounds interesting. I am gonna need some a magnet. Magnet. Do I have enough? Do I have enough uh, crystals? See, on the left-hand corner of the screen, those blue crystals only have 16 of them. Oh, the soul stone bag is. Whatever the max redstone is. Done. But I can't, the problem is I can't bring back the Rat King, because that Rat King got, got, well, got rat up. <laughs> he got boxed in the corner, so I don't know what happened there. So I can't buy any more potions. Mm. Why would I, a magnet for, like, collecting stuff from a distance? Is that, like, collecting some of the loot from a distance? Why would I do that? If I buy the explosive ammo, how much do I get? Let's buy the ultra shotgun. So you put a shotgun on your shotgun, so you can shotgun even more. How is this better than the weapon I have? Big armor. Okay. So I have armor now. Max health plus three. How is that an That's not much of an improvement. I guess I hose myself a little bit there. So yeah, twin stick shooters. They're okay, I guess. Uh, favorite twist. I haven't played. Yeah, cause I haven't played that much of uh, what you call it. Yeah, I pressed L1, but I don't need more special weapon energy, I guess. Uh, I need to. Like I said, I need to play more Renegade Ops. That might be a better option because it's like an open world. It's like an open world-ish game. Like it's got, it's like it's got like mission objectives and stuff. And it's from the creators of uh, Just Cause too. And since that uh, what you call it, since that uh, GI Joe game just came out here in uh, October 2020, it's apparently terrible. Like, it's basically Agents of Mayhem without the uh, ability to switch characters in the middle of the fight and no special abilities, no skills-based cooldown, and no open world. Like I said, like, I was fine with, I need to play more of that, but I, I, was, I was fine with Agents of Mayhem as like a, as like a sandbox shooter. It's like you're in an, it's an arena, it's like, an, think of it as an arena shooter. You jump into it, you, you jump into it, you take out a bunch of mobs, you switch characters on the fly, you... You dance or you use some of their skills. 
and you basically are just trying to see how many enemies you can take out before dying, and you can level up. I mean, it's not that complicated. I mean, if you treat it like a, if you treat it like a, I mean, there's some exploration in there, obviously, but if you treat it as a game that allows you to jump in and just jump in and you know take out waves of enemies, it's perfectly fine. And all those special abilities help, but. G that G.I. Joe operation, whatever you call it, game that just came out. It didn't have that. It's just like a game where you run around tiny corridors and shoot things. They don't seem dynamic at all. I mean, even Ages of Mayhem had a bit of that if you go into those under those, you know, those under those underworld areas. Yeah, those under what is it? Those um those subway areas, I forgot what they were called. They were I think they were dynamically generated, randomly generated. But they, like I said, they were just big arenas where you go room by room and clear out enemies. And there were, you know, and, you know, it was, again, it's a platformer, you know, you could actually jump in that game, you know. You know, it's like being in a, it's like being in a death match with one person. You just switch to three people and you have different skills. So I was perfectly fine with that. Am I going the wrong way? Let me see what's going on with the Eye of Karara, anyway. The Eye of Karara. Where was it? It was over here, right? Yeah, right here. Uh, oh, so it has to be 20. Well, I don't have 20. So I hosed myself there. Um, okay. Guess we made enough progress. Okay, first of all, what is that noise? It sounds like the Space Invader sound effects haven't stopped. Like, for real, it sounds like that saucer in Space Invaders that hovers at the top of the screen. <laughs> Just never stopped. <laughs> it's kind of driving me mad. skeleton have a dingly dangly thing in the back of his throat <laughs> that Curdy B was talking about? Where's the exit? I don't need to go to the shop again. You see, I can't do anything here with the eye. Did the game just break? Did the, wait, is the, did the game just... We're at the end of the level. I can't leave? Oh, I pressed L2. Sorry, L2 was for the uh, special weapon I totally forgot about. I must be missing something. This is driving me nuts. I don't have enough money to buy anything else. Uh, I'm confused. Am I stuck? I don't, I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, blue diamonds to buy a resurrection orb. I'm just stuck. Did the game just crash? Cause I don't have enough soul stones to buy another eye, and I can't go through here. Yeah, I, there's nothing here. I'm at the end of the maze. What's going on? The game probably just crashed. I'm crying out loud. Uh, maybe I can go back. Maybe I can go back to the uh, Space Invaders game. Let's see if I can uh, recharge. Let's see if I can restart everything. This is not a good look, by the way. Let me get at least one more coin before I end this video. Because I don't think I can save my progress. I didn't get any diamonds, did I? Do I have to shoot that uh, Kutalulu eye at the top of the screen? Yeah, can I get him? Ah, missed him. I tried. You, you got. You got to. You got to get them early. You can't be on the. You can't be on the wrong side of the screen. You got to cut them off at the pass. Okay, I got another coin, so we're good. Here he comes. Got him. There's my diamond. Now, what does that do? I don't know. Does it kill everything in a? Does it kill everything in a column? Is that what it did? Ah, missed. That dude got in my way. He intercepted my shot. So we're gonna end this video pretty soon. So I can, so I can get the Kutalulu one more time. 
Isn't there like a demo, a free demo on Steam for a game called like Day of Kucharulu or something like that? I want to say there is an RPG. Okay, yeah, it shoots everything in a column, I guess. So you, you collect it, and when you collect it, it shoots every it shoots everything in a column. Which is kind of interesting. Do I get any points for shooting these bullets? No, I don't. It's just it's just purely defensive. Okay, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna end this. I can't take anymore. Okay. So, I can, so it's one so no lives in this game. So I got two specials. So those so those uh, diamonds were specials. Were those soul stones that I got? Let me try something here. It's gonna drive me nuts. I don't have nearly enough coins to buy anything, and I can't buy any soul stones. I have no idea what's going on now. The game. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. In, I'm in hell. I can't. I can't get out. I'm stuck in the maze and I can't get out because the game crashed. It's a better patch that, huh? Let me make one more run so I can find another way out because I don't have nearly enough soul stones to buy the eye. I've gone to every room. That's the shop. See, look, look at the maze, right? See the maze? Yeah, this is supposed to be the way out, and I can't get out. This is absurd. I mean, is the expectation I'm supposed to keep playing that game like get more soul stones? I don't know how to get those. The enemy got stuck in the wall. Ugh. So that's the problem. That's probably why the game crashed. My god. The enemy is out of bounds. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm astonished. That's why I summoned them. So what am I doing? Was I supposed to earn the stitch monster here? I don't know what's going on. There we go. Got a couple in one shot. What? Well, eh, don't get stuck. You have to keep moving. You don't want to get stuck. And you want to get stuck by an enemy that'll melee you. So now I can move around. Yeah, I need more room to roam. The ability to retreat and shoot works. Only killed nine enemies. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, remember I'm on a time limit, so I can't dilly dally. Carrot crap. You remind me when I uh, get my uh, game development skills under <laughs> up to snuff. I need to make a I need to make a berserk sequel, like a top down shooter. Not out need stealth really. I just want to be able to go from room to room and just shoot things. It would be like it would be like it would actually would be more like uh, Guardian Legend. Remember that game on the NES? Guardian Legend was a lot of fun, as I recall. It was, it was, it was, an, it was an OG top-down shooter with a... What was it? It was like a maze like this. It wasn't a twin-stick shooter, obviously. You got a female heroine. Yeah, she actually had a heroine in that game. How, how common was that in, in the United States? Of course, you couldn't tell. Unless you read the manual. It was, it was like Samus It was like Samus in Metroid. You really couldn't tell unless you read the manual. It wasn't really that obvious. Uh, let's see, 16 soul stones. But yeah, guardian. So I didn't even have 20 soul stones, and he let me go into the eye. He let me go into the book of the eye, the eye of Kavara, I guess. I don't know, man. I might try again later, but this game did not earn my trust by crashing on me like it just did. Because I played it once before, it didn't do that. But this is literally my second playthrough, and it's. It's my second run and it's crashed on me. Amazing.